In this particular seminar, we're going to learn about pH levels and acidity. What is pH anyway? pH is one of those uh, items, uh, the short forms, that uh, we don't know much about. And the actual meaning is that it is a, an abbreviation for potential hydrogen. The pH of any solution is the measure of the hydrogen ion concentration. The higher the pH, the more alkaline and mostly the, uh, off the better in the way of oxygen as well. So as, if that's higher, then a lower pH will be more acidic. Now, obviously then, the lower the pH level and the more acidic it is, you're going to find this not, for most people, it's not, really, not good for you. There are those few that are probably the, the reverse, very, very few. Our guest speaker, uh, Stefan Wilms, the alkaline diet guy, is, going to, is a professional athlete, uh, an alkaline coach for the uh, founder and founder of the uh, Urvita Center in Munich, Germany. Stefan is an internationally known speaker on realkalizing your system. And through his company, UN Focus Products, he works with Dr. Uh, Gentiria to promote the alkaline process that he's going to talk about. He says because of the processed foods that we eat, the processed foods, and the stress we have in our lives, most of our bodies turn to be more acidic than they should be. Stefan is here to tell you about the ways that you can rebalance the alkaline levels that are in your system through regeneration, through purification, and through cleansing. So, this particular seminar today, it's, you speak, it will be speaking on disease, recovery, anti-aging through the alkaline acid balance. Please welcome with me, Stefan Wilms. Stephen. Well, thank you so very much. Everybody's understanding me well? Yeah. Thank you so much for the very sweet, warm welcome. Uh, everybody, a uh, very warm welcome here to our lecture. And let's just jump into it. Everybody can see the screen here? Great. So, I think uh, power, beauty, health, and wellness in youth. Somebody here who's not interested in that? <laughs> everybody interested here? Yes. Two arms up, fresh, right on. Motivation, that's what I love to see. Uh, I love to give you lots of uh, inspirations, hopefully good inspirations today, and you implement in your life whatever uh, suits you, right? Whatever has a good uh, resonance in your life, you will hopefully implement. <laughs> the show is gone. Ah, here we go. Okay. Uh, everything, all these uh, states of human existence, healthy, wellness, powerful, youthful, it's all alkaline. Why? Because we are alkaline beings. And uh, the first reason for my theory is the blood. As you all know, the blood must be in an always very small alkaline range. Yeah? 7.35 to 7.45. What happens if it goes under this value? Exitus. Very good. So. We are alkaline beings, this is the juice of our life, our blood, all right? The function of the blood is to transport oxygen and nutrition, and the erythrocytes they have to be free-floating, right? The surface has to be maximum, and then the blood can transport oxygen, nutrition, all over the place. So this is really, really important. The next reason why we are alkaline beings is everybody here had an alkaline full bath for nine months. Uh, if the mother's healthy, you've been bathing in a high alkaline solution, 8 to 8.5 for 9 months. Babies are known for their beautiful smell, they're full of energy, full of love. And um, that's basically the state we come to this planet. All right? Welcome to our this, uh, lecture here, Disease Recovery, Anti-Aging. I'm Stefan, I uh, used to be a professional athlete, I'm an uh, alkaline coach, and I'm, I used to own the Ayurveda Wellness Center in Munich, and I was always sending people uh, with serious diseases like cancer, I was sending them to do uh, six weeks Ayurvedic treatments in India. Everybody a little bit familiar about Ayurveda? Uh, one of the oldest healing uh, systems in the world, 
very effective internal external cleansing. The problem was always when people came back with maybe 50% reduced cancer that they threw back in their old lifestyle. Right? And then you have the patterns. Basically, we strongly believe that uh, lots of diseases are basically self-created through an imbalance of lifestyle. And once you go back to the old lifestyle, your disease is going to be flourishing again. So I learned about Dr. Ian Schurer, a three-step program from Germany. I learned about ad, uh, alkalinity acidity. You are hopefully all have these little pamphlets here. Very interesting stuff. And uh, it's something you can do wherever you live. That's the good news. You know, you can really try to change your lifestyle, implement good things, healthy things in your life, wherever you are. Okay? This is my son number two. As I said, this is how we start our life. Uh, fresh, healthy, happy, great smell, all organs are pure, uh, free of impurities, and we're full of radiant life, energy, and love. That's normally how we, come, uh, we arrive on this planet, okay? Unfortunately, our lifestyle is very acidic, right? You basically get up in the morning, some people have two jobs, you're running around, you have to make a living. Uh, wherever you go, on the run basically, uh, the food you're getting is very acidic generating, okay? Uh, everybody here saw the movie Super Size Me? Yeah, this is a must if you have kids, if you have friends, watch it, make a, a movie evening. Everybody understands it. Our kids, we showed it to them. I have four kids, we showed it to them, maybe age three, four, they understand. Uh, we are all consciousness, we all awareness. Everybody, little guys are so smart, that's why they play with us lots, and we can learn from them lots, right? So they understand. Uh, just to quickly remind you, supersize me, the guy committed himself to eat four weeks at a very popular mainstream fast food restaurant. Uh, everything you get there is basically, well, oh, not everything, but mostly everything is acidic generating. And after two weeks, uh, blood, hi, the blood values were going down. After three weeks, his doctors told him, you are getting sick. All right, so this is basically our typical North American lifestyle. These kind of foods with uh, very acidic generating effects on our body are basically served in every school cafeteria and unfortunately also in uh, most hospitals, right? You get lots of processed food. You could choose maybe to drink either coffee or black tea, uh, very little salad, very little greens, uh, healthy uh, juices, salads, veggies, and so on. So uh, just go through it quickly, meat, meat products, sulfuric acid, soybean, sulfuric acid, sugar, everybody knows here, stay away from sugar, acetic acid, pops, energy drinks, here we go again, uh, that's a common one. Uh, pops and energy drinks, right? So many people suffer basically obesity. This is something in, uh, any school should have on their uh, curriculum. Uh, any college, any university, people have to know this. You tell it to your friends, to your family members. Artificial sweetness, formic acid, then coffee, black tea, red wine, tannic acid, uh, cacao, chocolate, oxalic acid, pain relievers, uh, that's also a big common known one. Just to give you a little information on the pH thing, right? Seven is neutral. Everything under seven is acidic. That's the underworld, which is not bad per se because our stomach acid is also very acidic, right? That helps us to spit up food. Um, everything over seven is alkaline. Now you have to listen. It's very interesting because one digit, let's say six, is not only one digit lower, it's 10 times lower than neutral, seven, right? We learned in the beginning, the blood must be always alkaline, right? So if you have uh, one digit less, it's 10 times more acidic. The next digit lower is five, it's 10 times 10 more acidic. So 100 times more acidic. It's basically kind of exponential. So. We all love coffee here, right? Most people like their coffee, black tea. The bad news is it's very acidic. Like a strong espresso has a pH level around three. Just a little, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna explain it to you. I, we don't have here uh, a stick and tell you don't enjoy your coffee anymore. 
we recommend balancing, right? But first we have to learn what's happening. So a typical nice strong espresso, Italian espresso, is 10,000 times more acidic than your blood. Yeah? So uh, it's very vitalizing the coffee. And uh, the reason for that is because the body has a kind of an allergic reaction. That's my theory, because it needs to buffer the acidity. Yeah, because we learned the blood must be always alkaline, right? 7.35. Now, if it's under this value, exitus. Yeah? So, as a lot of happening in the body, you have anything you pour into your system has an effect, either like a bank account, either you make a payment, you p deposit something, something healthy, or you take something out. No? It's a closed system, basically. Uh, these chemical or buffering reactions, your body takes a mineral from the mineral deposits and chemically neutralizes the acidic generating uh, drink or food. Okay? It's really easy to understand. Everybody can understand it. Uh, the body is basically constantly trying to stay alive to buffer acids and toxins. All right, so acids do to our behavior. This is also super important, guys. Somebody here who did yoga, who likes yoga, going for walks, any exercise. Why are you so happy afterwards? 30 minutes exercise. Usually it's like a holiday, you feel a little bit like being reborn, right? Why? Because the body is detoxing via the respiratory system. Yeah? So if you don't exercise, your body is creating carbonic acid. That's very popular, unfortunately. Most people, they work nowadays riding on the computer. You get up, you drive your car to work, you take the elevator, then you go back. In the evening, usually it's microwave food and watching a nice movie, right? So little to no exercise, very, very unhealthy. Uh, human beings are made to run around, right? We've been hunters, gatherers, running around, hunting and searching for food and whatever, right? Lots of action. And nowadays, since 100, 100 years maybe, uh, people basically sit around. Uh, so it's not, our bodies are not made for that. Huh? All right, so then uh, some young guys, uh, they work all day, they are uh, doctors or uh, consultants, whatever, and they know they have to exercise, but then on the weekend they run a marathon. Is that healthy? No. No, uh, it's not in balance. If you do high intensive anaerobic exercise, like running 400 meters, your body creates lots of lactic acid, right? And then the biggest one, about 80% of all diseases, 70 to 80 percent are related to stress, anger, and frustration, right? And I'm telling you why, because the body is creating lactic and hydrochloric acid via the hypothalamus gland, right? So you can have a great uh, green organic diet, but if you still have your five to ten anger attacks every day, right? You drive Italian, you yell at your partner, whatever you do, or your kids, the body has an acidic flood and it's not good. Uh, just to let you know, we have to look for a holistic approach. This is so common, toxins in our life, nicotine, alcohol, uh, additives in foodstuff, dentary materials, heavy metals, deodorants, aluminum, right? Not very good. Aluminum deodorant goes directly from your armpits up via the lymphatic system into your brain. Dish detergents, uh, fabric softeners, chemicals in clothing, furniture, carpets. You love your new uh, car or your new house, it's, it's off-gassing, right? Just to let you know, if you buy yourself a new sweater, you have to clean it before because they put uh, 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 toxins in there, right? Mm -hmm. Chemicals in working place, vaccination, medicine. I love to give you lots of information. You Google, you find out yourself. Don't believe anything I'm telling you or anybody is telling you because you have to know it, right? Your heart, basically, your body is the ultimate uh, decider. There are hundreds of books telling you to be vegetarian. You can find hundreds of books telling you to eat lots of meat. What to do? You have to find out, okay? Uh, energetic contamination from my, um, mobile cell phones, microwaves, that's also a common one. If people run around with their cell phones here close to their genitals, 
they should not wonder that uh, maybe there's a problem with fertility. Uh, so it's all connected. Uh, environmental poisons such as insecticide, herbicides, I hope everybody of you goes and buys organic uh, salads, juices, vegetables, and so on. All right. Uh, the knowledge I like to uh, give to you is basically a research by a German doctor, Dr. Jens Schurer, German biochemist. He's the alkaline guru, I would say, in Europe. Uh, this line, the three-step program um, I'm distributing, is developed by him. It works. It's proven. It's tested in 30 years. They have thousands of naturopathic doctors, medical doctors, uh, who treat their patients, but also the Swiss and Austrian Olympic team use their products because if you do beneficial and eat nutritional uh, diet, your performance will be increased. After you exercise, you have to do alkaline body care to suck out toxins and acids, and it really, really works. I mean, the uh, regeneration bath, that's a common thing. I think most professional athletes do that, or hockey teams, after they had an intensive workout, they all uh, sit in the uh, bath salts, high bath salt, if possible, and the body is detoxing. Yeah? All right, so this is important. I told you, we enjoy our very acidic espresso in the morning. The body has a chemical reaction. Anything acidic generating, uh, you pour into your body, let's say, red meat. You enjoy your steak. Even World Health Organization tells you more than three times red meat per week increases your risk of heart attack. Why? It's very acidic generating. The body has a chemical reaction. We want to stay alive. So it takes a mineral from the mineral deposits and neutralizes the acid and the toxin. And a neutral salt is created. That's all fine and dandy. When we're young and fresh, we can do whatever we want. We can eat whatever we want, right? You can party all night. Next day, uh, you go to work. Until the, when the mineral deposits are full, everything is great. But the more we live the acidic lifestyle, not only one year, two years, it's basically decades, right? We all have a very stressful life. In kids, uh, kids in school, they learn they have to perform. Stress, anger, frustration creates acidity. Uh, school cafeterias are full of acidic food, as we mentioned before. So it's a very acidic environment. Nah. And during the course of time, the body gets problems. So these are the mineral deposits, hair, scalp, nails, teeth, skin, blood, vessels, veins, bones, capsules, and tendons. Very easy to understand. Sorry for the, the arranged slide there. Uh, Microsoft and Apple, they don't like each other. <laughs> Anyways, we all love each other. <laughs> there are three ways, basically, three types of the body to react with too over acidity, OK? I start with the easiest. I'm going to explain it to you later. Huh? Deposits, that's a very, very simple one. Huh? The body is a survival machine. You cut your finger the healing process starts instantly. Yeah? The body wants to survive. We are living in a very acidic environment. We drink lots of coffee and pops and run around and are stressed and steak and McDonald's, whatever. So the survival mechanism of the body is to store toxins and acids with water and fat far away from the heart. Uh, so women start with cellulite, usually when they're young as a deposit reaction, and men get their beer belly. Now, that's the way usually it starts. You can easily understand it. That's three different types. We uh, generalize, they, of course, uh, uh, occur in mixed forms. You have the second type is excretion. Now, that's neurodermatitis, scratching, pimples. There's a certain limit to the kidneys, to the liver, and to the intestines a certain amount it can handle of acidity and toxins, and then the, the skin is used. Uh, the body tries to get rid of toxins and acids via the skin, neurodermatitis. Yeah? And then the uh, third way is structural damage. Uh, this is when, when our body is basically corroded by acidity. Uh, you have to just uh, imagine yourself as a beautiful engine. Your body is a beautiful engine, a beautiful metabolism, beautiful organism. 
And as I said, if you pour too much corrosion, corrodive material and liquids into it, it's going to corrode. That's simple chemistry. All right, as I said before, kidneys, intestines, lungs, there is a, a pain limit. Oh, here we start with the structural damage. Sorry, I was jumping over the slide. This is as young kids enjoying pops, chocolate. What do we get? Cavities, right? Acidity. Uh, fragile fingernails, wrinkled skin, vein problems, ulcers, diabetes. That's also a big problem. Uh, inflammations, arthritis, and then during the course of time, acidity, acidity, pop, sugar, coffee, no exercise, stressful life. And then you end up with Alzheimer's, Parkinson, osteoporosis, and heart attack. Yeah, it's very simple. Uh, quick side excursion in osteoporosis. Very interesting. Uh, first of all, um, did you know that in Korea, nobody knows osteoporosis? I always love to, like to drop this a little bit. They don't drink milk. Uh, indigenous people, no osteoporosis. They don't drink milk. Uh, just giving you inspirations, do your own homework, check it out yourself. Okay? And then, as we said, if the blood is, gets too acidic, you end up with heart attack. Also, Dr. Yinshura did research. He have two alkaline floods and two acidic floods in the body during the day, 24 hours. Very interesting now. Guess why uh, at 7 o'clock in hospitals, that's... Uh, Examined at seven o'clock between six and seven, most people die of heart attack in the morning. A.M. Yeah, very early in the morning, most people have heart attacks. Why? Because the body has an acidic flood. Yeah, I told you two floods, two alkaline, two acidic floods, basically like the oceans. Yeah. So this is all examined. This is all really makes sense. You can understand it. All right. So. Three ways of the body to deal with toxins and acids, kidneys, intestines, lungs. There's a limit. If it's overdone, the body tries to get rid of toxins and acids via the skin. Okay? So, this is very interesting. Sweating, smelling, itching, scratching, neurodermatitis, pimple, acne, all the uh, nasty stuff. You cannot hide it. You see it. The body has too much acids, too much toxins. And then you have athlete's food heartburn, hemorrhoids, badly healing wounds, open leg. Very nasty stuff. Okay, little side jump here concerning excretions, right? Did somebody notice here that men and women are different? <laughs> Anybody here? The same, huh? A little bit different. Huh? Not only the way they move and they are and they look, but also the metabolism is different. Uh, women have a beauty insurance for the first 40, 50 years. They have their monthly cleansing period. Did you know that? It's a, it's a beauty insurance. You get rid of toxins and acids. And uh, men, what do they do? They sweat and smell and they don't have the beauty insurance. Huh? That's the way it is. But women have it, okay? <laughs> Good for you. But... The problem starts with menopause, right? Then the, basically men and women, they start to get more the same concerning their metabolism. And then problems start, right? The body has a first aid reaction. If women don't have a, a healthy, clean diet, a healthy, clean alkaline lifestyle, they start to suffer hot flashes and sweating and water retention, reconnective tissue, Venous disorders, accelerated skin aging, gray hair, hair loss, and then osteoporosis, that's a big one. And then the third reaction would be deposits, right? Uh, lots of gait, weight, weight gain and rheumatism and gout. Uh, so this is basically when, uh, when the problem starts for women. The beauty insurance is gone, perdu. And then now, uh, if the lifestyle is not healthy, women have to take care. Uh, and they, or they suffer. Uh, that's uh, very unfortunate, but that's life. All right. Same problem here. Uh, the monthly period, the monthly excretions, they stop in pregnancy. So this is super important information. If you know somebody who's pregnant, just let them know. Because women basically need vital substances, organic minerals, three times more than normal. 
first because the monthly period is stopping. The monthly cleansing is stopping. Second of all, women, nevertheless, they work. Most women work in their pregnancy, so they need lots of vital substances. And the third reason is a baby is created, right? A new life, and that pulls lots of vital substances. Did you ever hear the saying, uh, a woman pays per baby with one tooth? Did you ever hear that? That's like in, in last century or two centuries ago when there were still, uh, women had 10 kids or so, very bad teeth, because uh, it pulls vital substances. Uh, growing a baby, growing new life, it pulls lots of good stuff out of your body. All right, so problems during an acidic pregnancy and when women don't have a very good diet, lack of mineral consumption, then you have stretch marks, hair, tooth loss, uh, structural damage like diabetes can happen. Of course, very popular is also sweating, neurodermatitis, pimples, heartburn, hemorrhoids. That's also a big one for pregnant women. And then, of course, all of a sudden, lots of gain, uh, gaining of weight. Now, that's uh, a big problem for pregnant women. Uh, this is, yeah, deposits, basically. Uh, the body needs more vital substances to deal with toxins and acids. Okay, so the pill and contraceptive means it's the same topic. You basically mess around with the monthly cleansing period. The body gets problems, congestions of acids and toxins. Uh, excretions, generally, this is a little side excursion. Excretions are actually great. The body has a message. Yeah, we can learn from symptoms, and we don't want to fight them. Yeah, it's very, very important. Uh, to learn. Body has a message. He wants to tell us something. Uh, I like to give you a little example. In the States it's popular if women start to sweat a lot. They have an operation. They get out their sweaty glands. That's pretty much the dumbest thing you can do because the body wants to detox, right? It wants to get rid of the toxins and acids. That's why it's sweating so much. So when you cut them out, uh, maybe six to twelve months later, uh, women have a tumor. Uh, they cut out the tumor, maybe half a year or one, two years later you have cancer. So that's basically all symptoms the body wants to let us something know. All right, we want to learn from our bodies. Okay, so impurities. Acids, toxins, we have this chemical reaction. Yeah, we enjoy our delicious cappuccino, but it's very acidic, so the body takes minerals out of the bones. A neutral salt is created and then with water and fat, an impurity is created. If we overdo the acidity, impurities and overweight, uh, obesity, basically this is the start of obesity. Uh, tensions in durations, high blood pressure, water retention, cellulite, that's how it starts for young girls. And then men uh, get their beer belly, age marks, and then you have gout, rheumatism. And of course, all the stones, right? Gallstone, liver stone, that's all calcification. You know, the body is storing acids and toxins far away from the heart. All right, so some tips here. Avoid milk and cheese. We spoke about osteoporosis, Korea, indigenous people, no milk. Much, much better. You take almond milk, rice milk, whatever. Too much meat, uh, salt, vinegar, sugar sweeteners, deodorants, household chemicals. And no exercise and too much exercise, right? Just find a good, balanced way. Try to work out every day at least once. No matter what you do, jump around, uh, trampoline, uh, weight training. Yeah? I just want to ask you what your thoughts are on goats, goat milk. Goat milk. If you like it, enjoy. Yeah? yeah? Everybody, essay please. Just don't do too much, right? We, it's the same little bit like cow milk. You always have to think. As an example, we human beings, we would not necessarily crawl under a cow and drink. It's the same with uh, goat milk. But if you use a, uh, a decent amount, that's fine. Goat. Yeah, yeah, goat milk. Yeah. 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 If you enjoy it, great. Per se, no. I want to talk about it. Our emphasis should be go green. Vegetables, juices, smoothies, salads, 
Let's do the questions afterwards, please. Yeah. I also invite you, um, if you like to, you come up to my booth, 608. I have lots of healthy teas, uh, porridge, uh, supplement for you to test and to try. And I'm very happy to ask any, uh, answer any questions, if I can, yeah? up there. But let's go through the program, OK? Thank you so much. OK, so stress, fear, super important. Uh, some people believe they have a super clean, organic diet, only juices, smoothies. Uh, they're going to uh, become 100 to 120. If you still have your anger attacks, right, 10 times a day, it won't work. So we, we need to look for a holistic approach, right? Whatever you do, coaching, psychotherapy, meditation, prayer, uh, you have to take care of your heart. It's basically the engine of our life. Okay, triple jump by Dr. Jens Schurer here. Uh, you break up deposits with an organic herbal tea. You neutralize acids and toxins with uh, healthy vital substances. And then you eliminate toxins and acids via your skin. You use the skin because it has uh, 3 million sweaty glands. It wants to detox. Here we go. Uh, you drink your herbal tea. 49 herbs, organic tea, delicious. Then you eat your Wurzelkraft here. That's 100 healing herbs and plants made in Germany. 50,000 vital substances. Delicious, thank you. And then uh, the last step is you have long foot and full bath in the perfect pH level of 8.5. That's what we have in the mother's womb. And then uh, use basically suck out toxins and acids via a chemical principle of osmosis. Somebody knows it here? Mm -hmm. So a high pH level will basically draw out low level toxins and acids. First step, you have your impurity here, uh, fat, water, and then this is gonna be split up by a tea. Did somebody here did a fasting in their life before? Fasting, usually you drink a uh, herbal tea. Uh, did you ever hear about fasting crisis? Yeah, fasting crisis after two or three days, neck ache, headache. Guess why? Because a herbal tea will furthermore split up toxins and acids, and the aggressive uh, acid toxin is in your system, floating in your system. And since we don't eat anything, the body doesn't have the organic minerals, the vital substances, to chemically neutralize these acids and toxins. Yeah? So we always recommend, if you do a fasting, try to get uh, organic juices, smoothies, to give your body vital substances. Yeah? Do you understand why? Very smart. OK, you drink your tea, 49 organic herbs, delicious tea. Please come upstairs to our booth, and I uh, will let you try it. It is a unique naturopathic recipe from Germany, 49 organic herbs. It contains all elements of the periodic table. Basically, all building blocks of human life are contained in the tea. Very nice product. You drink one or two cups per day. If you have health problems, you'll be slow on the tea, huh? because the tea will release more toxins and acids. And just make sure to drink lots of water. But everybody here knows it. It's really important to drink at least one, two, three, four, five liters of water daily. Good spring water or alkaline water if you can. OK, super important here, super, super important, vital substances. Our body lacks vital substances. And we need to refill our mineral deposits. Vital substances, enzymes, minerals, vitamins, they are able to chemically bind toxins and acids, and then the body can neutralize it and excrete it. Yeah, everybody here understand that? That's super important. So, another beautiful slide here. Guess how many vital substances are in an apple? Somebody has an idea? 50? 89? Oh, very sweet. How about 200? All what we need, very sweet answer, it's 5,000. 5,000 vital substances are in an apple, organic minerals, organic vitamins, plant secondary compounds, vegetable enzymes, essential fatty and amino acids, dietary fiber, 
and so on, and the basis of, of our evolution, right? We are embedded in Mother Nature. It's very important. We are not embedded in synthetical or chemical multivitamins. No? Uh, it's, a, it's a big business, multi-billion dollar business. I don't want to have trouble with anybody here. But, uh, for instance, calcium supplementation. Yeah? Women want to fight osteoporosis, take calcium supplementation. Now they release all the long-term studies. It's a 30% increased risk of heart attack. Huh? University of Calgary. You have to do your homework. You have to Google it. Uh, in Germany, mainstream magazine, Der Spiegel, they brought out a big article. Big article. They never found any positive result on multivitamins. Uh, in the opposite, vitamin E, vitamin D, increased mortality. Uh, so the problem is that um, these products, most of the products are on the market since 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, maybe 10, 20 years. We are on the market since millions of years. Uh, Mother Nature is on the market since millions of years. Uh, so I really don't mind if you have a good naturopathic doctor and they give you magnesium, for instance, to relax your muscles. I don't mind. If you're good with it, you have good results, please do it. But the main emphasis should be Mother Nature. Yeah. Herbs, plants, veggies, salads, go green. Mother Nature, as I told you, our Wurzelkraft here, 50,000 vital substances. So it offers everything. If you have a, a chemical split up substance, you are basically the test rabbit. No, you are the person who tries it because there is no long term study. Most of the stuff is on the market since a few years 10, 20, 30, 50 years. Or 50, sorry, maybe vitamin C, uh, 50 years. Anyways, I recommend Mother Nature. Uh, that's a safe thing to do. Here, Wurzelkraft, Supreme Life Food, 100 healing herbs. This is tested since 30 years. Uh, 50,000 vital substances, vitamins, minerals, micronutrition, amino acids. It's alkaline forming. It regenerates your body, supports your immune system. It's omnimolecular. That's a nice German creation. It contains all the molecules, our, all the building blocks our human body is made of. Vegan, non-GMO, soy-free, it's perfectly bioavailable. That's something really sweet. Uh, I like to recommend, we all have to eat something, I rather recommend something really healthy. Uh, you have three to six tablespoons minimum if people have health issues. We work uh, with thousands of naturopathic doctors, uh, some here in Canada. If you're interested, I, I like to give you their uh, information, their contact information. Uh, they raise up the amount of Wurzelkraft up to 6 to 10 tablespoons if people have health issues because it really helps your kidneys to flush out toxins and acids. A very, very good product. And then, of course, please change your diet from an acidic to an alkaline. 80% of our diet should be alkaline generating. You still enjoy your coffee in the morning, but I invite you to balance it. If you have 80% alkaline diet, your body is loaded with minerals and vitamins and vital substances, everything the body needed then you still have to have a 20% acidic diet. You know that, right? If you would be, let's say, very imaginary, you would be Heidi living on the, uh, on the mountain, right? Yeah. And only be happy, happy, happy all day, no stress, anger, frustration, only healthy diet, only greens, only veggies, not good. Right? You need 20% acidity, uh, acidic generating foods and drinks in your life. Uh, that's the balance of life. Unfortunately, in our modern stressful life, it's the opposite, right? It's 80% acidic and only 20% alkaline generating. Okay, so, very important. Organic minerals, organic salads, germs, sprouts, seeds, fruits, juicing, smoothies, you name it, do it. Okay, very simple. And then something, some Wurzelkraft, if you're interested and you like to. Morgenstund, that's a very nice porridge here. The uh, whole stuff is used by the Swiss and Austrian Olympic team. You need some good long chain carbohydrates, and they're provided here by Morgenstund. Uh, it's buckwheat, millet, fruits, nuts, amaranth, gluten free, right? 
Lots of people uh, like oatmeal. Oatmeal is slightly acidic and has gluten. No? So this is super stuff, super digestive uh, for your digestive system. Uh, lactose free, no added sugar, additive free, rich in vital substances, high content dietary fibers, easy to prepare, easy to digest. We need long, long chain carbohydrates so the blood sugar level stays up and your brain works. I know it's very popular, uh, the high fat, right, no carbohydrates, it's not smart. You need good carbohydrates to be fit for your brain, okay? Uh, it's very good for kids. You can even blend it and then it's very good for uh, babies. Huh? It's the best breakfast I found. You can put in apples, bananas, uh, oil, seeds, whatever. If you want to come upstairs, I'll feed you. <laughs> feed the world. This is what uh, lots of professional athletes in Europe use. This is Transalp. These guys, they drive with their bikes over the Alps, really high up, really low down. Very strenuous professional athletes and they are lining up to get our stuff here. Uh, because it's so uh, nutritious. And uh, when I used to be a professional athlete, uh, to get some carbohydrates, everybody had to eat pasta. <laughs> pasta is very heavy, right? It takes lots of energy to split up the carbohydrates. These guys here, buckwheat, millet, fruits, nuts, amaranth, easy to absorb. You can eat it and work out right away. Uh, really, really good. All right, so the third step, my friends, the third step is learning from Mother Nature. We've been bathing for nine months in amniotic fluid, right? I told you in the beginning, we are kind beings. We've been bathing for nine months. High pH level, if the mother's high, uh, healthy, the amniotic fluid is 8 to 8.5. This is what we create with Aka bath here. I would always say it's the best bath salt on the planet and we activate the elimination function of the body. The skin wants to detox, especially also for uh, menopause women, right? You have to get rid of toxins and acids via the skin. I don't know whether you knew that there are three million sweaty glands, sweat glands on the body. There are 300,000 sebaceous glands. Huh? And I always joke around, guys, where it smells the worst, there's the highest chance for detox. The body wants to put, uh, get rid of toxins and acids. Armpits, genitals, and your feet. No? Loaded with sweaty glands and sebaceous glands. Here we go. Bait like a baby. That's what everybody here did already. Nine months, amniotic uh, full bath. Alkaline full bath. So we just basically copy Mother Nature. With this bath salt, you have a high pH level, same high pH level. It's rich in minerals, and then we added uh, eight precious stones in it for very good healing energy. Did anybody here ever try it? Akabath? And? Horrible? It's very good. Thank you. you. This is energetically uplifting the whole water. Uh, so it really transforms the whole bath water because it has also eight precious stones. Is anybody a little bit familiar with the power of stones? Uh, they're healing stones and this uh, finely grounded in the, in the bath salt. If you can, uh, you can add some vitamin C to your uh, city water or you get, of course, you can buy uh, water filters if you uh, have lots of money and you want the perfect water. That's highly recommendable. All right, so what does it do? It de-acidifies, it, de it detoxifies. It's proven, no fungi, no warts. Any skin diseases, Dr. Ensure almost gets a warranty. Um, four to eight weeks of this, bathing every day, a foot or a full bath, the longer the better, and it's gone, any skin disease. Uh, the world record is eight and a half hours with a guy uh, with uh, bloody hemorrhoids. Healed after eight hours of bathing, gone. Nah. Of course, you have to change your lifestyle afterwards. If you continue to do the same stuff, bad uh, acidic lifestyle is going to come back. But if you want to really do something, of course, every hour you have to add another tablespoon to get the pH level up because the chemical reaction is happening in the body. 
the high pH level will draw out low, low acidic toxins and acids, and then the pH level goes down. So you have to make it up again. Okay, feed auxiliary kidneys. In Germany, they have all these smart sayings. Uh, the skin is a, a third kidney, and the feet are the auxiliary kidneys. You can do it here, uh, our top athletes. Uh, the skin is the third kidneys. I love uh, the German. For every situation, they have a stupid saying, but these are, these are good ones. <laughs> these are not stupid, these are good ones. <laughs> you can do stockings, aquaware, with the bath salt. You can do your stockings. You have five hours awesome uh, detox overnight. You can do cuffs, then we have body wraps. If you have a headache, you do a neck wrap. It locally pulls out toxins and acids. I personally I recommend it very, very highly. It really works. So you do your brushing. Anybody here familiar with dry and wet brushing? It's awesome. Dry brushing, what does it do? It increases your metabolism. It kindly exfoliates. It helps your lymphatic system and it increases your blood circulation. Yeah? So dry and wet brushing. And as I said in the beginning, when it smells the worst, we have the highest amount of glands that the body wants to detox. So in the bathtub, you can uh, wet brush every five minutes, and then you feel really like detox energy. Yeah? Everything is moving and it reaction. It's really good. And then you do a dry brushing in the morning. Dr. Insurer has a set of eight different brushes, top quality, made in Germany, uh, we have an energy brush, but it's the best brush here with copper and zinc. It ionizes your skin, it creates oxygen. Uh, so this is a dry brush. Again, a set of eight brushes. Uh, you can come upstairs and feel and test everything. So it's really super quality made in Germany. Okay, trouble free purification. First step, you drink your tea, very simple. Then you eat, you change your diet to a healthy, uncontaminated diet. You can eat stuff like Wurzelkraft and Morgenstern. We have also quinoa meal, tishlein upstairs. And then you do your alkaline body care. Very simple. You just need a little German discipline. Every day a foot or a full bath. But guys, you have to understand. This is a little bit like a, a, a business project. Dr. Insurer. It invites everybody to become 100 to 120 years old. Yeah? And then, then die peacefully in your bed. bed. We are at the end, unfortunately, of our lecture. But nobody, nobody wants to talk about dying. Why? Because, because usually by, uh, people die 60, 70, 80 after 10 miserable years of hospitals and doctors and feeling shitty. Right? We invite you to create your own business project. Yeah? If you open a business, you have, you have to gain information, and you have to focus your energy, your heart, you have to believe in it. Of course, you sometimes you have to invest money, right? But nevertheless, it's your business project. You open your business, you have to be responsible and in control. It's very important. So I invite you to create your own business project to become 100 to 120, die peacefully in your own bed, okay? Now, now you have to write down, what do I need to do to achieve it? Yeah? What, what kind of measurements do I have to take? What kind of doctor do I have to see? What kind of naturopathic doctor do I have to see? How will I uh, spend my life? If you don't exercise every day, there's a nice saying, if you don't, if you don't use it, you lose it. Right? I told you, exercise super important. Cleansing by a respiratory system. Yeah? So you are invited to Create your, your own business, business yeah, yeah, so, so to, to speak. speak. Business project, 100 to 120 years, okay? Uh, some tips here concerning last slides. This is scientifically proven, the three-step program by Dr. Jens Schura. These are, uh, it's basically a little bit unhealthy blood. You see parasites, you see fungi, live blood analysis, highly recommendable. The erythrocytes, they are clustered together. The function of the blood to transport oxygen and nutrition is not very good anymore. So uh, five weeks later, the blood looks perfect. No parasite, no fungi. Erythrocytes are free-floating. The blood can transport oxygen and nutrition all over the place. The earlier you start, the better it is. Miss Germany here. <laughs> so it's a very popular uh, program in Europe. It's very big. As I told you, there are thousands of naturopathic doctors, medical doctors uh, treating and helping their patients. 
Uh, this is the Austrian Olympic team. They also use the program. They do their foot bath there in the snow. And uh, I would say stay young, stay healthy, take whatever you uh, like from this presentation home in your heart. Do whatever works for you. That's very important. Start your own uh, project here, business project, okay, 100 to 120 years. Enjoy life, that's most important. And uh, I'm very grateful you've been such an open and sweet and uh, receiving audience. And uh, that's it. Come upstairs if you like to. Thank you so much.